Hello, my name is Bob Esfang, the Field Service Manager at Valmatic Valve, and I would like to welcome you to the Valmatic R&D Lab, where we will be explaining the operation and use of the Valmatic skid-mounted oil accumulator power system. These systems are commonly used in plants to provide clean and reliable supply pressure to cylinder-operated control valves, even after a power failure. Our Model OA is a closed-loop, self-contained unit which after setup requires no external air or oil supplies to operate. There are five basic components which make up the system. The atmospheric oil sump, the hydropneumatic tank, dual oil pumps, dual air compressors, and the electrical panel. And we will briefly touch on these components. The hydropneumatic tank consists of an ASME certified pressure tank that has a large supply of hydraulic oil in the bottom and pressurized air at the top, typically 120 PSI. The oil level is displayed on a sight gauge and monitored inside by level switches. The air pressure is needed so that after a power failure, the tank can still deliver oil and operate the cylinder operated valves to safely and automatically shut down plant operations. The return oil from the valve cylinders is connected here. The oil is filtered before it returns to the sump. This unit has two 4 GPM oil pumps located in the sump tank, powered by three quarter horsepower electric motors, maintaining the set oil level in the pressurized tank. The oil pumps come on automatically when the oil level drops. The two pumps run in alternating fashion to share the duties. If one pump fails to operate, the second pump comes on automatically to pump oil. The line from the pumps contain check valves so that one pump can run at a time and relief valves in case any line becomes blocked or an isolation valve is closed. There are also two 3.5 CFM air compressors powered by 1.3 horsepower motors and maintain a set air pressure in the tank. Like the oil pumps, the two compressors back each other up to assure the highest level of reliability. Their output line also contains a check valve and relief valve. The pressurized air is filtered before entering into the tank. Since only oil is used to operate the valves, the air compressors do not run very long. The electric controls needed to make this system operate are contained in a NEMA 4 watertight cabinet. The panel and motors are typically fed with 480 volt three-phase power. On the front of the panel, we can see the operation of each pump and each air compressor is displayed. Handoff auto selector switches allow the user to test the pumps and the compressors or keep them in automatic mode. Alarms are shown when there is low pressure or low oil. Also, a failure of any pump or compressor is displayed. By de-energizing the panel via the quick disconnect, we can see inside the panel. These are the motor starters that when signaled start the pump or air compressor motors. They also contain heaters or thermostats that monitor the amperage to the motor and shut off the motor if it becomes overloaded. These are the alternators for the motors. Control relays control the operation of the system in response to level signals and from the system pressure switches shown here. We'll close the panel and re-energize the system. We can simulate operation of the cylinder operated valves by draining some oil from the pressurized tank back to the sump. And I will also release some air pressure. You can see that an oil pump automatically came on. If the first pump fails, the second pump will come on. The air compressors will not run until the oil level is back up to here. You can see the oil level was restored. The air compressor came on automatically to bring the pressure back up to 120 PSI. 
This particular unit is a size 80, which means that the tank size is 80 gallons. It will deliver about 25 gallons of oil as the air pressure drops from 120 PSI to 80 PSI. This amount of oil will typically power two to four eight inch control valves for three cycles after a power failure. Larger units are available when there are more or larger control valves to power. The largest air oil accumulator is a size 400, which has 400 gallon tank and delivers five times the capacity of this unit. Thank you for your interest in Valmatic products. Thank you.